All right, guys, so I am excited to show you something. Actually, I rediscovered something again. Um, I am an avid coffee drinker, if we can say. I love coffee, um, and I've drank coffee all my life. I mean, as young as I can remember, three years old even, drinking coffee, and my mom giving me these uh, Stella Doro cookies at Dunkin' there. It was delicious. <laughs> I know coffee is not good for kids, but I, I enjoyed it. But anyways, uh, so I enjoyed coffee all my life, but within the last, I don't know, five, ten years, I don't even remember to tell you, but it's been a while, I stopped drinking um, caffeinated coffee, and now I'm drinking decaf coffee. Um, and the coffee, uh, when you're drinking decaf, uh, look for the Swiss water method of decaffeination. They don't use chemicals, it's just water. Uh, I guess they use water. I don't know how they do it, but they use water to flush the uh, caffeine out of the uh, coffee, and it's like 99% uh, decaffeinated. Uh, so there's no chemicals involved. Uh, but anyways, either way you uh, choose, um, the coffee becomes weaker uh, when you remove the caffeine uh, through that process uh, of flushing the caffeine out. The coffee becomes weak, in my opinion. So, um, I've rediscovered a way to get the coffee tasting the way it did when I was younger again. A lot of you remember, if you're about 50 years old or older, in your 50s or older, you remember these percolator coffee pots here, okay? I mean, I don't know why they did away with these things, basically, um, because the auto drip coffee makers uh, the coffee goes through there once, extracts the flavor out of the coffee, grinds, and you have your cup of coffee. This, on the other hand, let me show you how this works. This, you have your stem, they call this, your percolator stem. You have your percolator basket here. It goes on like that. And then, this is where you put your coffee in here, okay? And then you put your cover on here, open this up, you put water in here obviously, the, the, the amount you need, put that in like that. What happens is the, the coffee comes up through here and it hits this little glass up here and it gets pushed down or washes through the coffee grinds and drips through the coffee grinds. And it keeps doing this over and over and over and over again. I've been making coffee with this, and I'm telling you, when I first, put, when I first made my first pot of coffee, it was percolating, and the entire house smelled like fresh brewed coffee. And it brought back so many memories when I was younger, back in the late 60s and early 70s, um, when my parents used to make coffee, uh, I'm telling you, man, it brought me brought back memory lane, man. I, <laughs> I swear it was so good. And not to mention the coffee that this produces is much better, a hundred times better than the auto drip, okay? Now the advantages to auto drip is it's faster, yes, it's much faster. And, um, you know, that's basically the only advantage. This, on the other hand, yes, it takes longer. The water has to boil, it has to start percolating, and you have to let it percolate for, I like doing it for, I like percolating it for about seven minutes. Uh, you can go anywhere from four to 10 minutes, you know, depending how strong you want it. You want it 10 minutes, it's a much stronger cup of coffee, for a very light cup of coffee. But roughly seven minutes is the way I like it. Um, so yeah, this is fantastic. Now, with it, you get these little filters for, your, for the basket. They're not absolutely necessary. What these are here, I, get, I think there's like 15 of them in here. You can order these on Amazon. Um, you put these in the, on the bottom of the basket. Again, they're not necessary. You take the lid off. And what those filters do is you put them inside here and it keeps the coffee grounds from getting through into your uh, coffee. Um, but I mean, like I said, it all, those of you that it grew up as I did drinking percolated coffee, remember at the bottom of your cup, you have a little bit of grounds in there. No big deal. But with these filters now, 
it, you won't get that anymore. Also, I found these filters on Amazon. Um, what was it? A pack of 400 of them. So it was four packs, 100 in each pack. And for 400 of them, I think, if I remember correctly, it was like $78. Well worth it. All right, guys, so we are going to make a cup of coffee here. Let me show you how it's done. For those of you that are younger <laughs> and, don't, and don't know about percolated coffee, uh, this is something you gotta try because this is a way either your parents or your grandparents uh, used to make coffee. And it's much better than the auto drip. Yes, it takes longer, but it's well worth the flavor and the taste. Uh, it brings out that nice, robust flavor of that coffee. Um, so let's, let me show you how to do it. All right guys, so before we get started, the first thing you obviously have to do is grind your coffee to have truly fresh coffee. So I got my coffee beans in here, got my grinder, and I have it set for either auto drip or a little bit coarser. You don't want it any finer than auto drip uh, for your percolator. So let's turn this on. Now that is fresh ground coffee. All right, so we are ready to make our coffee. Now what I did is I already put water in here, okay, and I filled it. On the side here, there is markings, uh, five, seven, and nine cups. Um, I'm just making enough for me and my wife. So it's four cups. So what I actually did is got the cup and filled it with water and threw it in there twice. And also, very important, do not fill it more than the nine cups that it says. Because if you fill it more than that, what will happen is when you put this inside there, the water is going to rest in the... Um, coffee grinds and it'll boil in the coffee grind and it's not that good. So we are, we got the water in here and uh, we got, we have it for, actually for five cups in there. So what we're going to do is, you always want to make a little extra coffee. Get these filters. Now like I, like I said, they're not absolutely necessary, but I'm going to do it anyways to show you and uh, push it down in there like that, okay. And you would make it just like you would your auto drip uh, tablespoon per cup of coffee. Okay, like I said, I have five cups in there, so I'm putting five cups in here, and I just want to shake it a little bit to level it off. Put your lid on there like that. Now what we want to do is put it in here like this. Now don't ever, or it's not a good idea, I shouldn't say don't ever, but don't ever put your coffee grinds with this inside there because chances are you're gonna get coffee spilling in there and in your, into the water. And that's it guys, so just close your lid. Now this glass right here, little percolator glass, whatever you wanna call it, um, it comes off like that, and with the water, the water shoots out of there, hits in here, and it falls into that basket and through your coffee. Okay, and now we're ready to make a pot of coffee.
All right, I have my cup of coffee. One thing I have to tell you is when you're done percolating your coffee, uh, after for me, for my case, it's seven minutes, uh, let it sit for about a minute, you know, 30 seconds to a minute, because you have to remember this is in a rolling boil, uh, so it's got to calm down a little bit and stop boiling. Um, after that, pour it into your coffee a mug, your favorite coffee mug, and add your sweetener and creamer, or however you like your coffee, and enjoy. And it really tastes better than the auto drip. Now, um, the auto drip, like I said before, it only goes through once, where this goes through many times the water, goes over and over, right through that coffee, and uh, really pulls that flavor out of that coffee. So, now I can enjoy coffee again. All right, guys. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll have everything in the description under the video to what I've used here. See you in the next video.